So a while back, I showed you the ads for Welcome to Dead Space. Uh, I showed you the oh, ads for Dead Space Two. Perfect. And I was like, these are the yes. best ads that they ever ran. The the second best ads they ever ran from EA were for Dead Space Two because it was the interviews with moms who were like, man, fuck Dead Space. Except yeah, for that there was one, the one mom that was like fucking great. The fucking black mom who was like, this game, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. But this is really cool. Oh, fuck. That almost killed me. We, we good, Dor? Good? Dude, oh god, that just reminds me of all those, um... <gasps> I've got more intel all those scenes stuff. from, like, the, the star... The from star up. blank shows the where, like... <laughs> <laughs> Doors were manually opened by, uh, <laughs> by human beings, and the timing was off on the blocking, and people would just walk into doors. Well, have you seen those videos of, uh, ah, there we go, when people would try to go through the, uh, what do you call it? People would try to go through the rotating doors, and instead of actually going through, the door would get stuck, but the rest of it would continue to swing, and the back, the uh, the next panel on the rota on the rotating door would slam into the person from behind, and both panels would explode. <laughs> it's really scary I looking. Seen, I have seen those. Those are kind of terrifying. Oh. Oh. I don't... I don't want to say that I had an irrational fear of revolving doors because of that, because I saw those when I was, like, relatively young when the internet had first started. Sure. But, it's still kind of a fear. I'm beginning to truly admire your spirit, misplaced as it may be. I think, I think you should see the whole plan. You should not spawn the hive mind's offerings. Straight up grave mind talk. So do you want, I'm going to reveal a big secret. Okay. Uh, up until I was like 22, I had an irrational fear of escalators. We've been to the mall together. Yes. You've used escalators. Yes, and I always How make, I I <laughs> the first step is always extra big. <laughs> How have I never known this about you? It, I'm very careful. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is really fucking you up, isn't it? It's actually like really fucking me <laughs> What? Uh, what's? Wh <laughs> Look, okay. I don't. I don't want to be that guy no, who, be who that makes guy fun all of you. No. <laughs> uh oh. Thanks for watching. That <laughs> just ends. <laughs> hey, well, I don't want to be that guy who, like, uh, who, you know, like, makes fun of people for having phobias because, like, it's, ki it's kind of a dick move, but that's one of the funniest ones I've ever heard. Well, it's something that I never talked about because it was, like, it's so dumb and I know it's stupid, but it was the constant- oh, fuck. It was the constant thing of I don't want to accidentally get my shoelaces caught and have it rip my legs off or whatever, which is stupid, okay, I know. But okay, you know what? This is, a, this is a segue to a good story because. Is it about the fire pokers again? No. This one involves escalators. <laughs> because. Yeah, fuck. You know you. that I am a. Uh, I am a uh. very, very big fan of bubble tea. I am aware of this, yes. Uh, and you know that one oh, of my oh, favorite no. spots. One of my favorite spots is a place here in Chicago called Chill. Yes. Um, and the only reason why they are my favorite spot is because my actual favorite spot, Biboba, shut down in, like, 2010. Okay. That was, like, my favorite bubble tea, like, of all time. But anyway, that's beside the point. Okay. There was a day where I bought, like, $40 worth of bubble tea from Chill because I got some for myself. And then I was bringing some home for my, like, for my siblings. And... Four bubble tea is very, like, very difficult to carry without a drink holder. But this place only had, like, really flimsy cardboard yeah. drink holders. And so I got my I got my drinks, and I got on the escalator to get back to go out to go out to my car. Yes. And the the drink carrier got so saturated that it like it ripped 
in my hands, and it <laughs> it fell into the escalator and broke it. Gotcha, motherfucker. Huh. Let's just hope that's the last we see of that thing. Yeah, so at, at some point, for about four days, I was the reason why one of the escalators didn't work at the mall that we normally go to. <laughs> And, dude, you know, you know the worst part about that? The girl who was working that day remembered me the next time I came in. Uh-oh. <laughs> because I came back, and she was like, Hey, if you ever fuck up your bubble tea, just come back and tell me. I'll make you more. And I was like, oh, no. So she not, remembers, not only and not she, the good memory. I was going to say, not only <laughs> does she remember, she remembers you as the guy whose bubble tea exploded. Oh, and the worst that's... part is I like, I just stood, I, I stood at the foot of the escalator. And I was like, do I go, like, do I go up and say like, hey, I fucked up my bubble teas. Can you make me more? <laughs> or do I find a custodian and go, hey, I, I had an oopsie. I, no, because that sounds like you shit your pants on the escalator. <laughs> no, but for real, like this stems from I'm aware of the fact that they had that occasionally an escalator can have a mechanical failure and it'll just fucking hurt someone and we like we joke about like haha I'd rather lose both of my legs than even one of my hands and that's still for the most part pretty true but this was at the time where it's just like I need my legs to get around man <laughs> like come on yeah but even like even even then honestly like that discussion that we have is predicated on the fact that we lose we lose the appendages unconscious like we get into a horrible accident we wake up and they're like hey we had to amputate your legs it's a surgical I'm, monkey's paw i'm fine with that that's fine but being conscious and like aware of the fact that my limbs are being torn from my body yeah that's pretty rough <laughs> And I'm being <laughs> actively turned into a necromorph while I'm awake. G is my creation. Oh, this is just the corpse hallway. Hello. <laughs> Alright, let's get it out of our systems real quick. Just There we go. Just like you think about Fuck, it. I'm like, desecrating if that, the corpses. God forbid that ever actually happens where like your leg just gets eaten by an escalator. It would be the... Oh, no! Oh, they're coming out of the poop. Oh, no! Get off of me. It would, it would be one, one of the most terrifying things to happen to either of us. Yes. And two, the sheer shock of it will bring out our senses of humor so bad that the EMTs would be like, hey, are you okay? And would be like, what do you think? My foot is soup. My <laughs> <laughs> I need to go into my inventory. Well, okay. So you want to know what like really brought this to the forefront of my, why do I have pulse rounds? I didn't even have a pulse rifle. Get out of here. Uh, uh -huh. To really like emphasize why I was thinking about this the other day is okay. there's a joke from Fairly Odd Parents where they keep joking about the ripoff for like the like the not ripoff but like the parody version of Disneyland and it's Escalator Land and I'm and I was joking about it one day while I was like brushing my teeth I was like I'm going to Escalator Land I was like that'd actually be horrifying for me I wouldn't want that at all <laughs> that'd be the worst. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a theme park made of your, like, of your one fear. My one real, like, phobia that existed until I wasn't, like, an actual adult. And I was like, what the fuck am I scared of? <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I'm gonna get a bunch of pictures of Escalator sent to me on Twitter, I know it. <laughs> the two, if the... If I have to eat that pile of poop of people are going to make fun of my stupid irrational phobia of escalators that I had till I was a fucking full grown adult. But the trade off is that people watched the videos. Yeah, I'll eat that poop all day. <laughs> I have so many river rounds in my inventory. <laughs> Drop that. Oh my god. That's like the question of how much of yourself are you willing to give to the internet? That it's It's a lot, actually. Yeah, I think short of, like, short of having an OnlyFans... <laughs> uh, I, okay, so that's the thing. With the exception of literally where I live, I would gladly have an OnlyFans, but I don't think I'm hot enough for that. 
You, know, you never know. <laughs> That's true, I don't. Oh, hey! You gonna give me that gun? Don't take your helmet off. The hair's rotten. Wait, is this the guy? That's our guy, yeah. It's oh. Church. You won't believe it. Shut itself in food storage. Oh, you've been to my OnlyFans. Uh. <laughs> I think they're what's poisoning the air. They've been transformed. I saw one of them. Bloated. Swollen. The poison factories. We need to take them out where we can still breathe. Are you gonna give me that gun, please? Hammond. I thought you were dead. That's a pulse you rifle. To to yeah. Air. You're not going to be able to help Isaac in your condition. Isaac, I'm scanning the area now. He's right. There's something really big in food storage. But I can't get a good scan. Monitor readings are off the scale. Be careful. The flood are eating all our Doritos. Huh. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay, is it about escalators? <laughs> no. Okay. What is your least favorite type of content on the internet? But I can't override the integrity lockdown. You YouTube to poop. Pods to bring the air quality up. Then you can go through and use the poison on Yeah, okay. The because that genuinely has no value. My and that's a weird... Like... No, go ahead. I, like, well, the follow-up is, like, stuff... Like, it's stuff that's made by, like... Ba I, I'm gonna say this is gonna sound super weird, but made by the equivalent of like slave companies basically that are like, oh, yeah, it's just basically a giant office or like a server farm. And all we do is have people sat at desks just continuously re uploading stupid content that's like the Joker, Elsa, like Spider Man videos. Those are literally valueless content that shouldn't exist. Like, it, I'm not even going to oh. call it junk food, like the equivalent of like internet junk food, because junk food has the intrinsic value of at least tasting good, like like a popcorn movie or something. This uh -huh. is actually valueless garbage. Okay, with the exception of that, though, what would be what would be your least favorite like type of YouTube content? Because that like stuff I'm talking about stuff that people actually think about, and I don't draw to like bad mouth. Okay. Yeah, because it's one thing if it's just like this guy's a pedophile and we need to get him fucking arrested because that's bad as opposed to like, like, that's one thing I'm talking like this person was mean to me and I feel slighted. I'm going like to call out videos. I'm going to make a call out video like fuck off. OK, fast forward one year. I'm making a call out video. <laughs> See, the, like the thing about call out videos is oh, that no. I. I feel that they're kind of warranted depending on the context. And that's why I clarified as opposed to like it's someone who's a pedophile is getting arrested. Well, like even that, like the some drama videos can also be very helpful because like you get insights on some people who are like not that like who appear to be good people, but like are actually kind of shit. Like you know, like the this whole drama happening right now with like voice actors and stuff. There's and I don't want to name names, but like voice actors. There's a lot of drama about drama. voice actors. And I will tell you I'll I'll tell you about it later because I do not want to name names. Is this like that thing that happened where uh they got uh what was it? It was leaked audio from Whoa fuck, hey. It was hey, leaked, Nightmare Boy. It was leaked warm up audio from uh the Dragon Ball Z like recording booths and they were and they were like oh no fuck off hold that thought and they were saying a bunch of stuff like unaware that they were being recorded and it was like i hate to use this terminology it was the t but it was like the locker room talk of like ha 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 making like old style internet jokes that aren't quite as okay as they used to be I don't stuff. actually know about. I don't actually know about this, but it's other it's other stuff. Okay, but this is a thing that happened like a year or two ago. Oh. And like a couple of people were like that's we said some stuff we probably shouldn't have and a lot of people are pissed off now. Yeah, you can talk we can talk about that that thing and the other thing that I'm talking about on the in between. But my least favorite type of YouTube video is yes. mukbangs. Yeah, okay, I'm with you. I ha I hate mukbangs so much. I'm with you. I also don't like it much. Do I have a health item or not? I thought I did. 
And I, do, I especially can. don't like the oh. absurdist ones where it's like, hey, I just made 40 packages of super spicy ramen. I'm going to eat it all in one sitting. Yeah. C- come on. Fuck off. Calling out Nikocado Avocado over here. Uh, nope. uh? <laughs> it's a It's some internet asshole. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Power lock and enabled. Fuck see, the, th- the thing about it is that, like, I feel like it goes into that same level of, like, thoughtless content because there's still some thought put into it like of course don't get me wrong but, but then compare that to like f- car food reviewers this place is awful also oh god i hate this place no but like do you remember when we were super into like the car car reviewers oh yeah who'd, that like one order guy. food in the drive through and like sit down and i was never into it as a collective i was into one guy who made the content that was good at it Mm. That guy. Yeah, there's who there's do another that guy that's kind of yeah. I he does though. Well, let me rephrase the, that. He does it, and I don't. Okay, and oh, I don't really like. It, I won't digest his content anymore. Or? Yes. Oh. No. Oh, he's still fast. Jeez. Are you supposed to fight him? I don't Are think you this is supposed, supposed to, find, to in like, this instance. That felt really ineffective, but I loved it. Oh, fuck. I don't have a healing item. Please die. I think you're supposed to find a place to poison him? Oh god. It's the key is to work the shoulder joints. That's super anticlimactic. Well, it's because he was in the, uh, he was in stasis when he died, so he just kind of fell apart. Yeah. Still kind of depressingly anticlimactic, though. Well, because you're not really, like, supposed to kill him if you don't want to, or if you're not equipped for it. Oh, mm-hmm. thank fuck. Oh, Jesus, this room's legitimately poisoned. Did you hear that noise? I did. I know what's coming up. I've been, I remember this part. Like, really well. Where are you? I can hear you. It's in this room. I know what it is. It's Captain Keys. Is it the mother? Oh my god, it's a witch. It's an- it's literally, like, a bad Vesperator monster. Oh. Which is radical. Terrifying. Look at him! I love good monster design. It's just a giant fucking lung. Yeah. Like, not even- Ugh. not even a joke. Like, straight up. One day we're gonna yeah, have to fight no. the lobe from Freakazoid. You ever Ugh. see the lobe? Never seen Freakazoid. Oh, that's gonna have to change. Now that Animaniacs uh, is back, maybe they'll bring back Freakazoid. And if they do, like, you're gonna have to do some catching up. You have to play yeah. catch up. To put it to put it a certain way. Was there a monster uh, in it? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> You bastards. You got You got mimicked in dead space. Because I heard that and I was like, no, it can't be. And then I started taking damage. I was like, fuck off. It this is bullshit. Is. What the oh, hell? Oh, man. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. But no, as whole... far as I'm concerned... But as far as I'm concerned, mukbangs can go fuck themselves. I... I understand it, but I don't... Uh, I don't appreciate it. I don't like where they've come. Because I remember, like, OG mukbangs were, like, live like, streams in Korea. Nice stuff. Yeah, yeah, it was, like, super wholesome, nice stuff. Where it's literally just eating on stream so that people would, like, have somebody to eat with. So yes, that people weren't that so lonely. I, that I totally get and have no no like negative opinion on. I'm just like it's not my thing, but okay, sure. I can follow Same. that train of thought and I get it. Why? Same. Oh no, oh, not no. again. No. Uh, I can't fucking see the thing. You're gonna die. I might. Switch guns. No! Bye. Oh no! Fucking oh! Wow! What? Oh, there we go. 
I was like, holy shit, I lived. For like, it got me super good with the fake out. I was like, oh my god, I fucking, I'm okay. No, nope. that was pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad I saved right before that. <laughs> Hell yeah. I literally saved in the room right before that. Oh, yeah. But no, I like that they bait bongs, you with a fucking item good. too. They're like, oh look, That's it's a semiconductor. So it's so bad. Just but no, wholesome, wholesome eating, uh, eating with people leave? mukbang is super good. Uh, probably, but I think you need to progress the plot. <laughs> Everything in this room is moving. Hello? There it is. If you're really careful, you can take it and not get, not get got. That's fun. I can't fucking see the thing. That was that's, much easier. I was gonna say, like, that's disappointing. <laughs> oh, you can't run in here. The goo's too sticky. He's doing, like, the moon gravity walk, but he's inside. Mm. Sometimes the moon gravity comes from inside the house. Inside. We gotta watch more movies. Yeah, we have the podcast that we still haven't put episodes out for. <laughs> it's true. I came down here to find Dr. Elizabeth. We only recorded one. Well, yeah, we only recorded that? one, and I still haven't put it out. Like, I still haven't given it to you for your <laughs> approval. Because I'm a dumbass. I didn't know you wanted my approval. Well, I needed you to listen to it, just make sure that it was, like, all okay and solid. Sure, all right. I don't like this at all. Entering zero gravity. Ah. Look up and just jump right out into space. This is horrible. I love it. Zero gravity, but there's still oxygen. How do I jump? Ah. That was me. No, I'm okay. <laughs> you sure about that? Nope. Isn't it like L2 and X? That's what I thought too, but that's slowdown. That's stasis. Oh no, no, we're doing this again. We're doing it again. <laughs> it should just be. Ju it should just be that. Stasis. Oh, it's Y, which is weird because that's the rig button for opening your inventory, which is why I didn't try it. Huh. I'm super not in the right place. Also. Oh, are you not? Yeah, I shouldn't be here yet. Maybe there's some cool stuff in here, though. There is some cool stuff in here. Well, we'll get to this later, I guess. I mean, I can't jump to that. There we go. I guess we'll do this later. Someone's screaming in the comments again. Also, I said that in an episode of Spider-Man, and Petia was like, yes, the person screaming is me. Please do the puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, which gets me back into a thing that I was going to tell you about last episode. Yes, go for it. You you got you got to pay more attention in game in LPs, man. No, it's fine. Oh, it is I not can, fine. I can totally screw up a puzzle because I'm busy talking about Spider-Man. I know exactly what puzzle you're talking about. Which one? Pray <laughs> it's tell. The pipe one. Where I'm, I have to do the water pressure, and I'm like, I don't understand what's happening. And there's a big, there's a big red bar that's like, okay, do the puzzle. Or it's when I was doing the train car in like the third episode, and it took way longer than it needed to. That's not the one I was talking about. It doesn't help though that I was able to identify two right away. It doesn't. No, the one that I was talking about is the uh is the the very last puzzle before you fight before you fight the tinker. Oh god, the one in the Because you were just facility. so distracted having yeah. <laughs> Cause you were so busy having a discussion with yourself that like you missed the cues. It was it was walked that, around for a second. It, it's that I didn't think I'd have to look at everything in the room and there's so many interactables. Combine that with I didn't think there'd be a puzzle at the end. I mean also fair. Man, Dead Space, you got some visual stuff happening. This place is uh, horrible. Oh, I hear him. Where are you? I hear you breathing. He's, he's still alive. There's one somewhere. Oh. Where are you? I can hear that motherfucker wheezing up there. Hmm. Is it in here? I guess not. Something's in here that I gotta go look at, so. Get to know the place we're from. We're from the Ishimura. 
Man, this place is nasty. Bitch, you live like this? <laughs> the meme. Bitch you, live, bitch, you live like this. What is it about the bitch you live like this meme that makes it so fun? Give me a nickel stuff. I don't know. Stuff. Oh, yeah. It, I, th I think it depends on the context because, like... Sure. Because there, there was the one that I was. Did I, did I tell you about this one? Probably not. It was, a, it, it was a Tumblr post about a girl who refuses to not cosplay as an elf. Wait, wait. In, in what context does she refuse to not cosplay? Do you mean every like, moment of every day? Because that's someone with psychosis, if that's the case. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's someone would, with, with like it a was mental a, problem. A, it was um. It was a it was a post on Reddit basically, but I saw it on Tumblr first. But it was like, "Am I an asshole for doing it uh, for cosplay like for doing my Naruto cosplay in front of my girlfriend who <laughs> cosplays as an elf because she used her elf cosplay uh, <laughs> to talk to my cousin who had cancer?" What, dude? That that is a grenade. <laughs> Go into this. Throw this grenade at me and let me jump on top of it. What? Excuse me. Hold on. Are you gonna pull up the I, Reddit post? No, I have. To, I have to look it up. This is so interesting. Please talk about it. Oh like, that's my god. Not a joke. I need to hear about this bullshit. <laughs> it's so bad. I think oh upgrading my, my air in this environment seems like a good idea. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Ah! I tried to back up. No! <gasps> you alright there, buddy? I ran into a thing. Well, the first one, like, exploded on me, and the second one was about to go off, and I was able to back up a little. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Okay, so I can't. I can't find it. Uh oh. It's so. It's so weird. And we hate seen a this. lot of weird things, you and me. Oh, I found it. Okay, hold so that thought. We'll have to get to it in the next episode because we're at oh. thirty minutes. Oh shit! How about that? Yeah. See, I can do that too. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching Dead Space, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on all our social medias. Get ready to deal with the hydroponics problems in the next episode and hear about elf cosplay. Oh, it's bad. See you next time.